On this episode of At The D Spot, we're checking out some of the most popular brunch spots in Las Vegas. Let's go. Thanks so much for checking out this video. If you're new to At The D Spot, Make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell to be notified every time I drop a new video. And to my returning D-Stars, thank you so much again for your continued love and support, and I love you all. Our first brunch spot is gonna take us to the Las Vegas Strip. We're hitting up one of the most legendary hotel and casinos. We're hitting up the buffet at the Bellagio. Bellagio Buffet is located in the center of the Las Vegas Strip at the Bellagio Hotel, Resort and Casino. When you're visiting the Bellagio, make sure that you stop at the conservatory. Each season, the enormously talented horticulture and engineering teams transform this 14,000 square foot botanical garden into a showcase of inspiring sights, sounds, scents, and colors. Spring, summer, fall, and winter are all featured, all along with a special display for Lunar New Year. When the seasons change, so do the displays. Now that we've worked up an appetite, it's time to hit that Bellagio Brunch Buffet. The Bellagio Buffet is open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Monday through Thursday, the Bellagio Buffet will cost you $41.99, and Friday through Sunday, it's $49.99. The Bellagio is one of the crown jewel properties on the Las Vegas Strip. This buffet is big and there are a lot of items to look through. As you can see, there are a ton of breakfast ingredients out there to satisfy just about anybody's palate. There was a nice selection of fresh fruit and fresh fruit juices. They had a huge bread and toast bar and look at all the toppings. The Bellagio buffet has a full bar Alcoholic beverages are not included in the price of the buffet. After I had my fresh juice palate cleanser, it was time to hit the made-to-order omelet station. And I had my omelet loaded with meats, veggies, and cheese. The omelet station had an ample amount of ingredients available. One more flip and my omelet is ready. I will say that the omelet was the freshest tasting thing that I had that day at the Bellagio Brunch Buffet. There are a ton of breakfast items, there are so many side dishes, there's grilled vegetables of all sorts. The chicken and waffles looked really good but they were sitting there for a while and the waffle was soggy and the crust on the chicken was not good so that was a miss for me I've been coming to this buffet at the Bellagio for many years so walking in it felt nice to walk into that beautiful room that is always clean and very spacious it's one of the larger rooms that I've been in as far as buffets is concerned One of the issues that I have with the Bellagio Buffet is that they make larger quantities of food and put out too much food at one time, which allows the food to get cold because not that many people are eating certain things at certain times. So I would recommend that they kind of cut back on the quantities that they put out. Next up for me was hitting up the rotisserie section because I was ready to try a plate full of meats. I decided to focus on the seafood being the crab legs and the shrimp and the rotisserie meat section. Oh 
Oh my god, look at the size of that beef rib. It's enormous. So far, so good. Of everything that I've had from the meat plate, the beef ribs were outstanding. Pork ribs were good, prime rib was decent, and the flank steak was okay. But the beef ribs were awesome. For me, when I come to some of these buffets, it's all about the crab legs. And mmm, love dunking the crab leg meat in that butter. The crab legs at the Bellagio buffet were a little bit on the smaller side from what I remember. And also, before at the Bellagio buffet, the, crab's leg, the crab legs were actually split down the middle and they weren't, so they were a little bit smaller and a little bit more work, but I understand it's a sign of the times. Crab, snow crab is delicious. I thought there was king crab on this buffet, maybe it comes out later, I'll have to go check again. But the snow crab are super fresh, sweet, not salty at all. There is a huge selection of desserts at the Bellagio Brunch Buffet. Uh, for me, the desserts are just okay. They just taste like an okay bakery. Nothing really signature about any of the desserts that I tried. I tried a little bit of everything and nothing really was screaming out to me amazing. Overall, my experience at the Bellagio Buffet was okay. Uh, I've been there during better times where the food quality was better and it was just a better experience. Um, so we'll see. For the price point, you should definitely be getting hot food. See you next time, Bellagio. The second stop on our brunch tour is going to take us down South Las Vegas Boulevard. We're going to Town Square and we're going to eat at Farm Table Kitchen. Farm Table is located in the Town Square Center on South Las Vegas Boulevard. When you walk into Farm Table, you're always greeted by a sparkly and energetic hostess. My server Corey was prompt, knowledgeable, and very friendly. This is the sexy Chris. Corey recommended the bottomless Bloody Mary, Mimosa, and Sangria options. This is the Aloha Mimosa, pineapple, orange, and peach. And boy, did he keep those drink refills coming. Oh. Strawberry apricot. So many flavors. <laughs> Don't sleep on their salads. First, their dressings are all house scratch made and their salads are prepared wonderfully. So I had the poached pear arugula salad, which was baby arugula, poached pears, candied pecans, blueberries, feta, toasted sunflower seeds, and it was tossed in their homemade lemon poppy seed vinaigrette. And guys, this salad was outstanding. The braised short rib grilled cheese comes with sweet tea braised short ribs, caramelized onions, artisanal cheeses with a paprika aioli and all on a toasted brioche. The short rib grilled cheese at Farm Table Kitchen is a mouth-watering experience. Think meat butter slathered in cheese and sandwiched between toasted bread and grilled 
this short rib grilled cheese was amazing. Farm Table Kitchen is like a modern southern style soul food restaurant. Besides that Farm Table Kitchen are also scratch made, some of the sides that I tried were the red beans and rice, I tried the mac and cheese, and I also tried their homemade greens that had little bits of meat in them. Next I tried the chicken egg sandwich which was a huge fried chicken breast. It was topped with Vermont cheddar, pork shoulder, it had egg, and it was all on a toasted brioche bun. Look at the size of that sandwich. Not only was the size big, but it was also delicious. Shout out to the GM and partner Tommy and his team, Corey and Carol, the hostess with the mostest, and the entire team at Farm Table Kitchen. I wish I knew everyone's name, but thank you guys for such a great experience. Mmm, just like I like my mac and cheese. Hot and gooey. Next up was the farmhand chicken and waffles, and this combination was their awesome fried chicken, sweet corn Belgian waffles, and Yukon gold mashed potatoes. The waffles are topped with powdered sugar and fresh cut strawberries and they also have an unbelievable homemade strawberry butter to use and to put on your waffles. Oh my god, this is so good. Corey was very knowledgeable on the menu and he gave his perspective on his personal favorites. Farm Table Kitchen is a great spot to go to with a group and enjoy their bottomless drinks, some great food, excellent service, and warm vibes. Now it's time to try some desserts. The first dessert was their lemon curd. Fresh, tangy, Vibrant. Next, I tried the banana bread pudding. Banana bread pudding. Delicious. Nice banana flavor, nuts. The last dessert that I tried was the rich and fudgy chocolate cake. Morning, my beautiful people. Food coma. I need to go lay down after all this. So chocolatey. Mm. I want to say thank you to Tommy and his team here at Farm Table Kitchen. Everything has been absolutely amazing from the moment you walk in to sitting down the drinks, the food, the service, everyone has been wonderful. Thank you so much. Until next time. Last but definitely not least on our brunch tour, we're heading back to the Las Vegas Strip. We're going to the Venetian Hotel and Casino and we're checking out Yardbird. Yardbird Southern Table and Bar is located on the Las Vegas Strip inside of the Venetian Hotel and Casino. Yardbird is not a secret restaurant. 
They have an unbelievable reputation and they are one of the highest grossing restaurants in Las Vegas. Yardbird is a modern take on Southern comfort. They've got shared plates, craft cocktails, and critically acclaimed fried chicken. That makes this an ideal place for brunch in Las Vegas. The brunch menu at Yardbird has just the right mix of options for everyone's palate. First up were the cocktails, and I tried their blackberry bourbon lemonade, which was wild turkey bourbon, blackberry, cardamom, lemon, and bitters. And this blackberry bourbon lemonade was so refreshing. This is the kind of drink that you could drink outside in the summer, on the porch, or at a party, barbecue. It was delicious and refreshing. The second drink I tried was a Southern Revival, and this drink had wild turkey bourbon, passion fruit, basil, lemon, and ginger ale. Oddly enough guys, all of those ingredients work very, very well together. This was also a very refreshing drink, a little sweet, a little tart, and I liked it. Next up was the Yardbird Cinnamon Roll, and guys, I don't even know if this video does this cinnamon roll justice for the absolute ginormous size. It was the biggest cinnamon roll that I've ever seen in my life. And this cinnamon roll was um, salted bourbon caramel and it had cream cheese frosting and pecans all over it. It was otherworldly. The best cinnamon roll I've ever had in my life. And yes, for $18, it was totally worth it. This cinnamon roll was warm, ooey, gooey, and so fresh. As you can see, they do not skimp on the cream cheese frosting or the candied pecans. Next up was the fried green tomato BLT, and this was another home run out of the park. This fried green BLT comes with their house smoked pork belly, pimento cheese spread, smoky tomato jam, a little frisee, lettuce, and some lemon vinaigrette. And guys, this fried green tomato BLT is on another level and a must try at Yardbird. I have no words right now. Shout out to my sister Toots DV who absolutely loves this dish. I wish she would have been with me when I was filming this time, but I thought about you the entire time Toots. Next up was the Lobster Benedict, which was two poached eggs with their hollandaise sauce and a split lobster tail, one for each of the poached eggs. This Lobster Benedict was so fresh, buttery, rich, and delicious. You had two poached eggs sitting on their split biscuits with some spinach, their hollandaise sauce, and then topped with their split lobster tail. This lobster benedict was amazing.
Last and certainly not least is the star of the show and what they're most famous for at Yardbird, which is their chicken and waffles. And this chicken and waffles comes with their honey hot sauce, a chilled spice watermelon, Vermont sharp cheddar cheese waffle, bourbon maple syrup, and of course, the fried chicken. This fried chicken and waffles is probably the most expensive that I had at a $38 price point. But guys, this chicken is outstanding. When I tell you I don't know how they season the chicken at Yardbird and how it comes out so juicy and tender, the flavors are next level. It was dessert time, and next up was their strawberry peach cobbler, which are all baked to order, by the way, so make sure you please allow 20 minutes to 25 minutes for them to prepare it. But this is a brown sugar coated crumble. It's got vanilla ice cream and a golden caramel tool. This strawberry peach cobbler is sensational. You have that sweet tartness of the strawberry peach, then that brown sugar oat crumble is really nice. The creamy richness of the vanilla ice cream, everything together works very well. As you can see, this dessert could probably feed about three to four people, especially after being super full. Just tap, 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 crack, and dig in. The service, the ambiance, and the quality of the food are top-notch, and it's definitely an experience you should have when you're in Las Vegas. I know it's on the expensive side, but definitely treat yourself. You could do that every now and then. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for going on this brunch tour with me. I am completely full. Everything was so delicious and amazing. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Check out some of these brunch spots. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, be good to one another. We're all connected. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell.